Hi, David Rollman here, and in this video, we're going to talk about five pentatonic hacks that every guitar player should know. Hack number one, combining positions together. Let's work in the key of A minor, for example. A minor pentatonic, and we're going to take three positions that touch each other. And if I put a dot anytime I have one of the notes of positions five, one, and two, I'd have what you see on the screen. And from that, I can create a new custom shape and it's gonna create some new types of ideas. Hack number two, the bending approach. The idea here is to play one of the notes of your pentatonic scales. In this case, we'll use a B minor pentatonic and approach that note with a half step bend. So you're gonna play the note just before the note you're trying to land, one fret before, and bending that note to make it sound right. <laughs> number three, pentatonic modes. Let's consider that we have to play over a G Dorian backing track, for example. A lot of notes, super confusing, that's difficult, and uh, a lot of stuff to memorize. But if we take a closer look at that chart, we will find a hidden G minor pentatonic, a hidden A minor pentatonic, and a hidden D minor pentatonic. That means that now, instead of having to memorize all these notes, all you have to do in order to play, in this case, on a G Dorian backing track is to phrase using the traditional pentatonic scale that you know. All those legs are gonna work. They're gonna work in G minor pentatonic, A minor pentatonic, and D minor pentatonic, and you magically will sound like G Dorian. <laughs> Number four, outside pentatonics. Hack number four is awesome for blues rock players who want to inject into their phrasing some outside elements to sound a little bit more fusion-y. Let's consider that we're playing in D minor or D Dorian. So you can phrase with uh, first position of a D minor pentatonic scale. And you're just phrasing like you would with that pentatonic scale. And whenever you want to sound outside, you just shift that same exact shape, either a half step above or a half step below. And then you just go back in by sliding back in. <laughs> Hack number five, the chromatic approach. If I take my first position of E minor pentatonic, I've got two notes per string. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And if I fill in the blanks between each of these notes, I'll have uh, a richer scale. Sometimes I'll have four notes on a string, sometimes three, depending on the intervals. It's gonna allow you to phrase rhythmically a little more and um, you're gonna sound more complex than you really are just by filling in these blanks. <laughs> These five super simple hacks can be used in any musical situations. I would recommend that you take one of them, develop it into your own playing, incorporate that into your own musical vocabulary, and make music. Make these hacks your own hacks and develop new ones. Like this video, let me know what you think below. I'll see you very soon, and don't forget to subscribe. I've got a lot more videos coming soon. I'll see you next time. Until then, practice well.